scholarships after Hiawassee College's announcement to close. Yeah, we brought you the news yesterday. The institution shuttering its doors at the end of the semester, which is, by the way, May 10th. Hiawassee College citing financial reasons for this decision. Now, last night at 11 o'clock, we introduced you to both a mother and daughter who attends Hiawassee and the athletic director at the institution. Well, both not expecting to hear this news. It's just uh, being patient right now, just trying to focus on how to get all these athletes into a, into a school or, or, or wherever they want to go and just trying to help them. Now, six on your side, reporter Laura Hall making the trip back to Hiawassee's campus today. She joins us now live from campus. Yeah, Laura, we understand that you have some information that, that will be very useful for students now thinking about making a transition here. Yeah, you're exactly right, Kristen and Bo. Uh, you know, enrollment equals financial stability and sustainability. So when we give you some perspective, Hiawassee College had about 253 students enrolled here at the college back in the fall. School leaders telling me that that number was down drastically from what they were expecting. Then after spring break, enrollment dropped down to 225. I just love it here. For 170 years, Hiawassee College has been home to so many students. Today, they're heartbroken and confused on where to go now that it's closing. I don't know. I don't know yet. I want to play basketball. I want to continue my career somewhere, but where is still up in the air. Dr. Robin Tricoli, president of this college, saying this abrupt conclusion is not completely unexpected. It's just very similar to a death. Um, everyone is in the midst of the grieving process. There are still many unknowns. However, school leaders say their number one focus is students. Beginning on Monday and probably every day next week, are various institutions, sister institutions, will be here to talk with them about transferring their credits, about graduating, but they're called teach out programs. I'm told students graduating in May will get their transcripts and diplomas. Hiawassee College continuing to finalize everything with the Department of Education and Tennessee Higher Education Commission. Student loans, um, those are loans that no matter where you are, you carry with you. Scholarships, we have scholarships that will carry with some students that were specifically for particular programs. It's our responsibility to make sure that institutions accept the students and the scholarships together. For faculty and staff, I'm told the college is working with other institutions on possible career opportunities. While there's a sense of disappointment among students, many say they're relying on their faith. God's got a bigger plan for it all, and it's, what comes for me next is just up to between me and him, and I just listen to him and follow what he wants me to do. So what's next for this campus, specifically the buildings? Well, Hiawassee College owns this property here, and I talked to Holston Conference. They're a major partner with the college. Once the college closes, Holston Conference will take over the property, and from there they'll have meetings and work on what's next for this campus, the buildings, and everything else that we have here down in Madisonville. For now, reporting live in Monroe County, Laura Holm, WATE 6 on your side. All right, Laura, thank you so much. Now, as students there begin to look ahead to what's next, we understand another institution is now extending a helping hand. That's right, Pellissippi State Community College welcoming, uh, welcoming displaced students, the Assistant Vice President for Enrollment Services, saying, quote, we understand this can feel like an insurmountable setback to Hiawassee College students, and we invite them to contact us to see if one of our career programs or transfer programs are right for them. Now, Pellissippi's admissions office is open Monday through Thursday, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m., and on Friday from 8 until 4.30. For information, you can also visit pstcc.edu backslash admissions. And we should note, Roan State Community College also offering to help those displaced at Hiawassee.